All right, guys, in this video, we will create our very first electron application. But before we get started with code, we need to make sure that we have installed Node.js. So go to nodejs.org and click on Windows installer or Mac installer, whichever is appropriate for your machine. So download Node.js and install it. And when you install Node, NPM is also installed for you. All right, once that is done, we can get started with our application. Now I will be using Visual Studio Code as the editor for this particular series. I have a folder created called Electron and all our projects will be within this folder. So for our Hello World project, I'm going to create a new folder and name it Hello World. Now the first thing we need to do is create a package.json file for our project. So within the Hello World folder, I'm going to create a new file and name it package.json. Over here, we are going to add three simple entries. The first one is a name and this is going to be Hello World. Then we are going to add a version for our project. So version and let's give it an initial version of 1.0.0. And then finally, we are going to specify a main entry point to our application, which is going to be a JavaScript file named main.js. And we will be creating this file pretty soon. Now, once these three entries are done, we need to install electron package and add it over here as a dev dependency. Now you can choose to use command prompt or git bash. But for running the commands, I will be using the integrated terminal in Visual Studio Code. So click on view and then integrated terminal. Now over here, we are in the electron folder. So navigate inside the hello world folder, cd hello world. Over here, I'm going to run the command npm install electron dash dash save dash dev to install it and save it as a dev dependency. All right, now Electron is installed locally and we also have an entry in our package.json file as a dev dependency. Finally, to run our Electron application, we will add a script entry. Over here, I'm going to add a comma and then scripts. Now the script is going to be just one single script for now, which is going to be start. And when we run npm start, we are going to execute electron in this current particular folder. So that does it for our package.json file, a name, a version, the main entry point, the dependencies, and finally the scripts that can be used to run our application. The next file we need to create is this particular main.js file. So again, within hello world project, create a new file and name it main.js. Now this main.js file for our basic hello world application is responsible for creating a window and handling the different events on that window. So let's dive into some electron code. But first, let's begin by checking if main.js actually executes. So I'm going to just add a console.log and then within parentheses, I'm going to say main process working. So now in the project folder over here, I'm going to run the command npm start. And if you see, it is internally going to execute electron in this current project folder which is going to execute main.js and we receive the output main process working. All right, I'm going to hit control C to cancel this. Now that the main.js file is working, let's start by requiring the necessary modules for this basic electron application. So the first thing is electron. So const electron is equal to require electron. Now this is from the node modules package that we installed locally. Then we are going to require two sub modules from electron. So app is one of them. So this is going to be equal to electron.app 
and we also need a window for the UI. So this is going to be browser window. So const browser window is equal to electron dot browser window. In addition to this, we are going to use some built-in modules. We are going to use path module to build our file path. This is going to be require path. And similarly, to ensure that we are building an appropriate URL, we are going to use the built-in URL module. So require URL. All right, so here's the thing. When the user loads our desktop application, they should see a view of a window that represents the UI of our application. So let's add some code to create a new window that represents the UI. We're going to start off by declaring a variable. So let win, and this is going to be the reference to our window. Next, we are going to define a function that is going to create a window. So function, let's call this create window. Now Electron actually provides this browser window API to create and control windows. So let's use that. Window is going to be equal to new browser window. So we have now an instance of this browser window. After a new browser window is created, we need to load an HTML file into that browser window. The HTML is the UI that the user can view. And this is where we make use of the path and URL built in modules. So we are going to say window.loadURL. Over here, we need to specify an appropriate or properly constructed URL. So we are going to use the built in module URL and then we are going to invoke the format method. Now, this format method takes in a JavaScript object. And the different things we can specify are the path name. Now this is where we are going to again use the path module. So path.join and we are going to join with the existing directory a file named index.html. We will be creating this very soon. Next we are going to specify that the protocol is a file protocol because we are serving our file from the file system and not HTTP. And then finally, we specify that slashes are set to true. All right, so we have created a new browser window and we have loaded index.html into that browser window. Lastly, we need to handle the event when a user closes the browser window because a user can close your application, right? So we are going to say window.on and then specify closed. So this is an event that is going to be emitted when you click on the close button. So if the window is closed, we are going to use the ES6 syntax fat arrow functions. We are just going to set window is equal to null so that it can be garbage collected. Okay, we now have a function that creates a browser window. But when do we call this? Well, this app submodule in Electron has an event called ready, which indicates that all initialization is done and we are allowed to execute certain code. So we can make use of that over here. We're going to say app dot on ready create window. So when the application has finished initialization, we are going to call this create window function. All right, if you're working on a Windows machine, this is pretty much your main.js file. If you are on a Mac, however, you need to add a bit more code. So let me just quickly copy paste that. So the first one is, if all the browser windows are closed, you need to explicitly quit the application in your code. So app.on windows all closed. So if all the windows are closed, this particular event is em emitted and we are just going to force quit our application. And similarly, in Mac, if there are no windows open and you click on the dock icon, you need to create the browser window again. So app.on activate, so you're activating the application. Basically, we are going to call the create window function so that a new browser window is created. All right, so now our package.json and our main.js files are ready. 
So let's add this index.html file to our project. So over here, create a new file, index.html. And over here, just add the basic HTML. I'm just going to change the title over here. I'm going to call this hello world app. And over here in the body in h1 tag, I'm going to just specify hello world because this is our hello world application. All right, that's it. That completes our very first desktop application using Electron. So let's run this now. Over here in the, elect, uh, in the Visual Studio integrated terminal, I'm going to run npm start. All right, we got an error and that was because I had misspelled electron, so I have corrected it. And now let's run npm start again. So there you go. We see that the browser window is created. This white screen that you see is the browser window. And we have the h1 tag that says hello world. And we also have the title that says hello world app. And since this is a desktop application, we have the menu like file, edit, view, window, help by default. We also have this minimize, maximize and close buttons. And what is interesting is because this app uses web technologies, we even get access to the web developer tools. So over here in create window function, I'm going to add just before window dot on closed window dot web contents dot open dev tools. So when we invoke this, it is going to open dev tools in the browser window. So let's restart our application control C and then NPM start. All right, so if you have a look, we have elements, we have the body tag, we have the H1 tag, and we have the console, sources, network, and so on. So we have access to the regular dev tool panels in our desktop application, which will be really helpful when debugging. So this is a basic Electron application. And from here on, I will be using this application as the base application and build on top of this to help you understand the different concepts of Electron. So make sure you download this from my GitHub repo and run npm install to get you started. Let me quickly summarize what we have done so that you again get a good idea of how Electron works. So initially we start with the package.json file. We have a name, a version and the entry point to our application. Then we install Electron locally using npm install command, which creates a dev dependency. And finally, we also add in a scripts entry so that we can run Electron by just writing or by just executing npm start. Now, when you run npm start, it is going to execute this main.js file. So in the main.js file, we are going to start off by requiring the Electron module. And from the Electron module, we make use of the app submodule and also the browser window submodule. The browser window is basically responsible for all the UI related part of our application. And the app submodule basically runs in this main.js handling any events that are necessary. We also make use of path and URL modules to build an appropriate URL for this window to load the index.html file. So we have this create window method or function, which is going to create a new browser window instance and load the index.html file. Now we call this function only when the application is ready, otherwise it might not work as expected. And for Mac specifically, we have some extra bit of code. Now in our index.html file, we just specified a title and within the body tag, we just specified an h1 tag that says hello world. And when we run the command npm start, we get a nice browser window with the title, with the h1 tag, and we also get access to all the developer tools. So there you go. Using web technologies, we have created a desktop application. Now we have plenty more concepts to cover. 
So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.